Hello and welcome to my channel, Hardware AI. In this video, we are going to use Ross Melodic to perform Tilly operation with Beetle, a robotic dog from Petoy that currently is on Kickstarter. Even if you are not going to buy Beetle, this video might still be useful for you if you are looking for the information about how to write custom drivers for Ross to interact with robot's hardware and control the robot's movement. As always in engineering, there are multiple ways to solve a problem. In case with robot teleoperation using ROS, you can run ROS node for movement control directly on the microcontroller or alternatively run ROS node on a single board computer. That node will be responsible for both video feed and relaying movement comments to microcontroller. Let's talk about option one first. There is already a microcontroller chip on Beetle used for movement coordination and balancing, AT Megas 328P. It is possible to use ROS Arduino bridge package to directly run ROS node on a microcontroller chip. However, there are few disadvantages to this approach. First of all, the amount of memory left on AT Megas 328P might not be enough for stable operation of both movement algorithms and ROS node at the same time. Second of all, AT Megas 328P doesn't have wireless interface or image processing capabilities, so we will need to couple it with a single board computer for teleoperation anyway. Which brings us to option two. In this case, the SBC or single board computer will run ROS node that will receive video stream from camera and publish it on image topic and also will subscribe to comment velocity topic, receive messages with linear and angular speeds and forward them over serial connection to AT Megas 328P. This is how it works in a nutshell. Now let's get to nitty gritty details. There are two SBCs recommended for use with Beetle, Raspberry Pi 3A Plus or Raspberry Pi Zero. Raspberry Pi 4 and 3B Plus are compatible, but the size dimensions of these boards are too big for Beetle compact body. We will use Raspberry Pi 3A Plus for this project. It fits nicely on top of the NIE board. Notice that my wiring here is not the way you want to connect Raspberry Pi and NIE board. The proper way to connect is to use the headers in the upper left corner of the NIE board, as seen in this picture. The reason for that is that these headers have level shifter for TXRX pins. Raspberry Pi has 3.3 volts on UART interface, while Arduino boards have 5 volt in general. Pay attention to that if you have a similar setup. While connecting Raspberry Pi and Arduino this way might not cause magic smoke to come out and ruin your day immediately, the prolonged operation will very likely damage Raspberry Pi UART. After you have the two boards connected, flash the image to your Raspberry Pi. Currently, there are two options available for using ROS on Raspberry Pi. First one is using Ubuntu image and pre-compiled ROS packages from apt-get repositories. Or second option to use Raspbian image and build ROS from source. While using Ubuntu makes ROS installation much easier, Ubuntu image doesn't seem to fully support all Raspberry Pi peripherals. I had problems with making UART communication work and using Raspberry Pi camera with ROS. So in the end, I decided to use my own Raspbian image with ROS desktop already installed and ready to get running. Find instructions and download links to Raspberry Pi image in the corresponding video. Now, 
When you have both hardware connection and RASBN with ROS, we need to write a custom driver for the robot. In the video, I'll just have a general outline of the process. For more details and code samples, have a look at Hexter.io article, link in the video description. Install Catkin build tools, create a Catkin workspace and clone my GitHub repository for this project into source folder. Let's have a look at the repository content. The driver for interaction with Nyborg is located in scripts folder. It is a simple node with a subscriber to twist messages on common velocity topic. Twist messages have six components in them – linear and angular velocity for three axes. We only care about linear x-axis velocity – forward and back – and angular z-axis velocity – left and right. Once the message is received, we use PySerial to communicate with Beetle using built-in communication API. For the sake of simplicity, we will just have basic walking enabled. It is possible to directly send server angles to microcontroller over serial, but in that case, gyroscope and accelerometer will not be used for balancing. Fine-grained server angle control with gyroscope accelerometer balancing will not be an easy feat, but since Beetle software is open source and, in future, an ESP32 controller board capable of running both ROS node and movement coordination algorithm will be released, I think it is achievable. That will greatly improve Beetle capabilities in traversing different kinds of obstacles. In the repository folder, you will also find two launch files – beetletileopp.robot.launch and beetletileopp.server.launch. Launch files are used in ROS to conveniently bring up large robot setups. The tileop launch file for the robot will launch robot driver and USB camera driver simultaneously. The launch file for server to be executed on your Ubuntu computer will launch RQT robot steering and RVs with image view opened. Set up ROS to be working across multiple machines by exporting ROS master URI and ROS IP environment variables on both your Ubuntu computer and Raspberry Pi. ROS master URI will point to your Ubuntu computer, which will be running ROS core and ROS IP need to be set to machines' respective IP addresses on the same network. Before you launch the files, you need to install the package with Catkin build. Remember to source your Catkin workspace and add Pi user to dialout and TTY groups. This is necessary for Pi Serial to be able to open Serial connection. After that all done, launch beetletileop server.launch on Ubuntu computer and then beetletileop robot.launch on Raspberry Pi. Move the sliders to get the robot to move. If you are using different robot than Beetle, the exact code to be executed after receiving velocity messages need to match your setup. This is it for today's video. There is still some time left until Kickstarter campaign ends. 
So have a look at Beetle and what it is capable of on the project Kickstarter main page. If you plan to use Beetle with ROS for more advanced robotics projects, make sure to consider backing Byboard version 0 that has more powerful control chip ESP32 with 520 kilobytes of RAM and 8 or 16 megabytes of ROM. Hope this video was useful for you in understanding more about robot drivers for ROS. Until the next time!